Hello! This is a video introduces Vox Tools, an add-on for Blender that includes a voxel editor and tile map designer. So, let's install the add-on and explore the features it introduces to the interface. Firstly, in edit mode, you will find three new tools that allow you to add, remove, or repaint voxels. To activate the vox modifier, select the add tool and press this button, or you can simply start adding voxels directly. You will notice eight voxels located at each corner of the default cube. This is because the Vox editor utilizes a geometry nodes modifier to replace points in the mesh with voxels. Add-on stores data, such as color of the voxel in vertices. You can add new voxels by clicking on the grid or on neighboring voxels, and you can click and drag to create a plane of voxels. Unlike traditional voxel editors, Vox stores data within the mesh, so there are no boundaries where you can add voxels. You can use standard tools to edit voxels, such as grab, rotate, and scale. However, it is important to keep the voxels aligned to the grid. Otherwise, the voxel tools will not function properly. Therefore, I made an operator to snap voxels back to grid. If you need to scale or move voxels by a non-integer distance, do so in object mode. The vox tool continues to function while the object is being moved. Scaling in rotation is only partially supported. Color Voxels tool allows you to change the color of voxels. You can either draw on a per voxel basis or use a brush. If you do not see any colors, ensure that you are in material preview mode. To pick color from a voxel, Click on it while holding the Alt key. This functionality is also available in the Draw Voxel tool. The Erase Voxel tool removes voxels. Instead of using the mirror modifier, you can use symmetry in edit mode. One of the standout features of Vox is its tile map generator. This tool allows you to replace voxels with tiles by applying a tile map that follows a set of simple rules. To illustrate this, let's make an example. Create a new collection for our tiles and then assign this collection in the Vox panel. As you can see, the voxels are gone because there are currently no tiles. Let's add one. Create a new cube within the tile collection. Scale it to a size of one and apply the scale. Next, duplicate the cube and add a bevel to it. Now let's establish some rules. I want this bevel to be displayed at the edge, so I expect that the two neighboring voxels should be empty. Therefore, I will set it to empty or other, which means that this space will either be empty or contain a voxel from a different tile set. I can also choose strict empty if I want to ensure that no voxel occupies this space, even from other tile sets. In the viewport, you can see the selected markers relative to your 3D model. Now that the new rules are in place, we must inform Vox that something has changed. Therefore, I select the voxel model and press rebuild. As you can see, the voxels with bevels appear on the corners. 
In some places like this, there are several ways to place tiles according to the rules, so Vox randomly chose one of them. Let's add a new tile for this place. Duplicate the tile and add a second bevel. Here, we will add a rule for the third side of the tile. Update the model to see the results. You can now add more tiles to accommodate more complex examples. In the demo files, several demo tile sets are available. In the demo files, you will find a collection optimized voxels. This set consists of tiles with voxels in which the internal geometry is not generated. Without materials, colors are not visible in the viewport. Therefore, let's add a material to the tiles. To obtain the voxel color, use this attribute. To ensure functionality in both instance and default modes, duplicate the color attribute and combine them using the add method of the color mix. The UV map may not function correctly in default mode. I have not encountered any issues, but if you do, consider using the attribute node instead. Since the Vox modifier is geometry nodes based, we can implement various modifications to create interesting effects. Let me demonstrate how to do this. First, Add an empty object to the scene. Next, go to the modifier and add created empty. Then, use the position node to calculate the distance between the voxels and the empty object. Connect this to the map range node so that the distance to the empty object will scale the voxels accordingly. The distance will depend on the scale of the instance. Finally, connect the map range output to the scale sockets of the instance on points. Ensure that the object position is set to relative. I enable simple instances because it is significantly faster. 